The Bridge A not untypical March day. No trees in leaf, no blossoms yet. What you see is what you get. Cold and overcast and grey. Soiled white chalk and soggy clay. Spring is still in winter's debt. Dog walkers, joggers, OAPs, scarves and hats and padded coats. Though cold is stabbing at their throats, all brave the stiff nor'easter breeze, while blanching at each cough or sneeze. As one gull slowly lifts and floats above the cemetery wall and over freshly opened graves. Behaving as the wind behaves, an empty, wraith-like plastic bag balloons and lets the chill breeze drag it through the vacant shopping mall. The wind that pummels the infected air and scatters droplets randomly. A wind that, unlike us, feels free and wears no mask and knows no fear, drives lockdown months through a bleak year, but needs no cordon sanitaire. Light at the tunnel's end, they say, though not for those now underground or those with losses too profound for any minister's oration or words of comfort to the nation to salve their wounds or wish away. We wish those months had not been lost. We wish days hadn't seemed so long. We wish the virus were less strong. Time's not been a gentle flow. Time's the black flood roars below the bridge we lucky ones have crossed.